Hi, good afternoon everyone. Uh, for this video, I'm actually going to show you how to download and install the tool that we are going to use in our subject graphic designing. So I want you guys to open your canvas accounts and go over with this part, the module 3, Introduction to Open to Photoshop. I have posted here the link in which where you can download the tool that you can use. So go ahead and click that. Once you click that, it will automatically open a Google Drive link that you can where you can download your file. So right click this one and click on download. So it will open another prompt which looks something like this. Go ahead and click download anyway. Now all you have to do here is to simply click and wait for the file to be downloaded. So after downloading the file, all you have to do is to go ahead and look for it. My file is usually uh, saved here in my folder. So after this one, just go ahead and uh, right click that one and extract, click on extract to Adobe Photoshop. It will automatically prompt you to enter a password. Now, for the password, all you have to do is to simply put 1, 2, 3 as its password and it will automatically extract the file somewhere here. There you go. So, a folder was created after extracting the file. So, after that one, all you have to do here is to simply click on this one by the way, uh, just a reminder, please make sure to check the version of your computer system. You can usually do that by clicking the Windows button in your keyboard and typing this PC. Now, after typing this PC, right click and click on Properties. Here, go ahead and read this one, the system type. So if your system type is 64-bit operating system, it's good. If it is 32-bit, it's also good. But then, however, go ahead and remember that because we will be using the system type version based on our installation. Going back, right-click this one and run as administrator. Click on yes. And a new window will pop up. Click on OK. Click on next, click on I agree. Now, based on the system type that you have seen earlier, just click either 64 bit or 32 bit. You can leave the following as is. So I click on next. Now, this is important. All you have to do is to choose the destination folder where you want to save your Adobe Photoshop portable. In my case, I would like to save that in the same folder where I extracted the file. So, in my case, here. You can go ahead and browse and save that somewhere here in your desktop and click OK. So, I'll install that. And let's wait for the file or for the tool to be installed. After the file or the tool was installed, all you have to do is to click on finish. Now, the next thing that you have to do is to open the folder in which where you save the file. So in my case, it's here. So click that. And this is where your Photoshop portable is saved. So let's go ahead and run that as administrator. And let's wait for the Photoshop to be open. So it looks something like that. So, there you go, that's it. This is where we will be doing most of our projects in the Thank you so much for watching and have a nice day.